Welcome to Make It to March, a Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey original series. During the 2022-23 Connecticut high school hockey season, we will be following the Cheshire Rams as they look to compete for a Southern Connecticut Conference Championship as well as a state championship. Coached by Anthony Giusto, better known as Coach Juice, the Cheshire Rams will look to bounce back from a five-win season and compete to accomplish a variety of goals. With a roster comprised of veteran upperclassmen paired alongside underclassmen looking to establish a dominant role on the ice, what will the Rams' upcoming season look like? Seniors Will Gaudet and Rocco Ocone Kraus don the C's for the Rams this season and will look to bring leadership and energy to the Cheshire team. Senior Lucas Sargolini and junior Evan Vasiliaz join them as assistant captains for the 2022-23 season. In preparation for the high school season, members of the Cheshire High School hockey team spend their offseason playing for split season teams across the state. Split season hockey offers a wide variety of benefits. First being an opportunity for players to continue developing their on-ice skills. During the offseason, it is less likely that players across the state will have weekly access to a rink. Playing as a part of a split season program offers players rink access, practice time, coaching, and the chance to develop relationships with players across the state. Cheshire captains Will Gaudet, Rocco Ocone Kraus, and Evan Vasilia spent their split season playing together for the Connecticut Capitals U18 team. Coach Ju spent his time leading the Capitals U16 team, which featured junior Drew DePodesta along with players from other SEC schools that the Rams will face later in the season. The Cheshire captains spoke about what they focused on this split season, as well as how they felt playing together will be beneficial come regular season hockey. Uh, definitely just staying conditioned and uh, getting sharp for the regular season and just working with a lot of new people. So. Yeah, so I just focus on like getting better, staying loose, and being ready for the high school season. Um, I kind of focus on just getting better and uh, working with the other Cheshire kids, try and get some chemistry going. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, you're working with a bunch of new guys then on the high school season, so it kind of forces you to be on top of your game, and the competition's definitely a lot tougher. I think it's good for like playing better competition than high school, playing with better players, getting used to faster pace. Uh, getting to play against your rivals, that's one of them. Um, get used to how they play and use it against them. Yeah, it helps playing with your teammates to build chemistry, and then also playing with your rivals for a later season. Yeah, yeah. it uh, definitely builds a lot of chemistry. I know where they are at all times on the ice, and uh, I'm able to find them, they're able to find me, so it's very good. Both the U16 and U18 Connecticut Capitals teams advanced to their respective championship games. Coach Juice and the U16 played first and fought hard in a 4-2 loss to Hamden's U16 split season team. Coach Juice spoke about how split season hockey is beneficial to players across the state, how having his captains play together translates to the high school season, and what playing with and against kids from rival high schools means to his own players. I think if you watch that game right there, it kind of highlights the importance of the kids playing at a high level. Um, that was a fast paced game. It was kids from all different high schools playing together against each other. And uh, it, just, it just gets them ready for the high school season. You know, we talked before the year about our goals, and obviously one of our goals is to make the Nationals. Unfortunately, it didn't happen this year, but one of our other goals is to get ready for the high school season. And, you know, going around the room, I asked the kids, I said, you know, do you guys feel like you got better during the split season? And, and every one of them, you know, showed up every, every week ready to work, and uh, they've improved throughout the year. So um, I, I just think playing on a split season tier level team is important for these kids to get ready to play at that higher level of going to high school. On the U18 team, we have three of our captains playing together, and they get that camaraderie of playing together, um, you know, in the split season, and then it trans translates right into the, the full season with the high school as well. So I think it's beneficial for them. It also gives them the leadership ability to, you know, lead kids who are of like ability and kids that are pushing them every single day to be better players. And then they bring that to the high school team when we get together in a few weeks. So I think that's real important for those guys to be playing on with that U18 group with, with, uh, with other kids and other leaders from other teams. You look at a lot of kids on these U18 teams, a lot of them are captains on their own teams, and they, 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 they kind of learn how to lead in different ways. The U18 team featuring Will Gaudet, Rocco Cone Kraus, and Evan Vasiliaz battled hard and were able to force overtime alongside their split season teammates. In overtime, the Capitals walked away with the championship due to a rebound goal by Cheshire senior captain Will Gaudet. A memorable ending to a productive and beneficial split season. With the split season coming to an end, the time has come for Coach Juice and the Cheshire Rams to get their season underway. 
Like many teams across the state, tryouts began the Monday after Thanksgiving. With the team well rested and recharged, a two-day tryout was held to determine what the Cheshire hockey team would look like for this upcoming season. For senior captain Will Gaudet, this round of tryouts was less about proving his skill set to the coaches, but to put an emphasis on effort and energy and to lead by example. Yeah, I'm excited for this season, you know, senior year, it's going to be fun. Last time on the ice with my boys, so I got to enjoy it all. Yeah, so I'm trying to go as hard as I can every drill, show hard work and not taking a shift off. Senior assistant captain Lucas Sargolini also felt the importance on being their first teammates as the team prepares for the start of the season. Uh, I just work as hard as I can and then just always help out my teammates whenever I can. Just let them know, keep going, keep trying their best and working hard. Following tryouts, the Rams began preparation for their first preseason scrimmage against Xavier High School. Saturday night, the team traveled to Newington, Connecticut for their first test of the preseason. After the first half of the preseason game, Cheshire and Xavier were tied 2-2 with goals coming from Cheshire's Andrew Vale and Drew D. Podesta. Thank you, Frenchman. <clears throat> takes away time and space in our team zone. We give these guys too much time when they have the puck in the corners. Okay? You gotta be down quicker. If you give a good player time, he's gonna make the play. You take away time, a lot harder for him. Alright? Um, defensemen, back up your partners. Right? We have the, our weak side defense again, caught up ice way too much. Right? I know that goal ends up being a broken play, a breakaway on the faceoff, but if our partner's backing us up, it's not a breakaway. Okay? When we have the puck in the zone on a regroup, we are backing our partner up. Like we're never ahead of the guy. Things happen, bad passes, puck bounces. We're always on the defensive side of the puck. Make sure we're backing up our partner. Right? Power play. You guys, when the puck's down low, we gotta get two guys on it. Right? We're too slow down low. I don't care what position you're in. You know, I have Ryan throwing net, but that puck's low. You're the first guy, you're on. Right? Flank guy is on. Right? We gotta get on the puck quicker. Right? Too slow in the power play. Get set up, the puck move, and get shots on net. Okay? Guys, it's not bad, all right? We got plenty of shit to clean up, right? We'll go through a bunch of video on this game here. We'll go through a lot of stuff. We get a lot of guys playing time, and I'm gonna see who's gonna stick here. But not bad for the first half, all right? Not bad. We've got a few minutes, we'll get back out there. In the second half, the Rams fell 5-2 to two to a competitive Xavier team, leaving the Rams with both positives and negatives from their first battle of the season. First game, I just saw a lot of good stuff, all right? Saw a lot of good stuff, you know? Um, I don't like losing even in preseason. But we'll learn from our mistakes, right? We'll get better, right? We keep saying it's a process, right? I said it at the meeting last night. You don't win a state championship the first week of the season, right? It's an entire process that we build to from day one all the way into, into end of March, right? Not a bad job. Coach Ju spoke about the importance of early season games and how this will affect the team moving forward. You know, having a game like that is great for us. We're playing a Xavier team that's a little faster than us, has a little more skill than us, and exposes a lot of the weaknesses and things we got to work on um, going into the season. And you know, there's a reason why we play Xavier and we play Hamden, two Division One teams, in the preseason, to get get us ready for for our league play. Um, you know, it's just you know playing playing a game like that, um, trying to match their speed, trying to match their skill level. Um, you know, it shows some of our younger guys what, what it takes to get to that next level. And uh, I was pretty happy with the way we responded. We got everybody involved in the game. We dressed 23 skaters today. We got everybody playing time. So it was good to see some of the, the younger kids get some playing time and see what they need to work on too to get to that next level. And then for our returning guys, you know, it's great for them, right? I mean, they get the, they get the first time playing with their, their own lines. You know, we've had four practices. So we we're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for effort, and that's what we got tonight. So I was real happy with the effort level and um, you know, where we're at right now. Again, we're only a week into the season, so there's a long way to go, but uh, very happy with, with, with where we are right now with the team. Following the Xavier scrimmage, the team played a preseason game against Hamden, as well as a three-game jamboree against Newington, Connard, and Weathersfield. Coach Juice broke down the preseason and what he's seen so far from his team, as well as how he expects the energy and effort to carry over to the regular season. For the last two weeks, we've had the message of just fight for every puck, fight for every opportunity. We've used the preseason games to compete for playing time and playing spots. And, you know, we feel like we have a real deep offense. The, the competition level, I think, I really like in the first two weeks. I'm hoping that translates over into gameplay now. You know, preseason games, we're getting different guys in and out of the lineup. So now with, uh, now with real game action, we're going to see a little bit more of our, of our game lineup. Energy level's been awesome. It's one thing that we saw from tryouts from the beginning of the year, the first day on the ice, was just the, uh, the energy level in the locker room, on the ice. 
I just talked to the guys about, you know, right now we're a five win team from last year. That's kind of all we are right now. A lot of people are saying that, you know, we have a good shot of going far. We have a good shot of making the SEC tournament. But right now your record, you're as good as what you were last year. And right now we're a five win team. So until we prove different, and uh, you know, we're all excited to do that. We're all excited to get on the ice. Preseason's over, two weeks of hard practices are over. Now the fun begins when we get to have some real, real, real good games. In preparation for Cheshire's first regular season game against Southington Co-op, junior Drew D. Podesta talked about playing against his former split season teammate Tyler Schmar and how playing with him and others has been beneficial. Um, I'm really excited to play him. He, was, uh, he became a really good friend of mine, so I think it would be really cool to play against him now. I became good friends with all of the kids on the split season team, so hopefully I can keep those relationships with them. I'll definitely try to hit him, lay a body on him, maybe make him look silly. And yeah, maybe maybe have a little conversation with him. Senior captain Rocco Cone Kraus talked about what this season and team means to him, as well as what his goals are as captain. Uh, I mean, for me personally, being a senior, it means everything. I mean, this is the final ride, uh, so he's just got to give it all out there. And for the team, I mean, we're all excited. I think this is the most tight knit group we've kind of had in a while. So, I mean, we're all ready, we're all focused, and it'll be a great time. So, as a personal goal, I think, and also being a captain, um, just to make sure that throughout the season, everybody has a good time, because uh, that means the most to me, making sure that everybody feels included uh, and just has a good time being here, because that's what it's all about. And then as a team goal, everybody shares the same one, just making it to states and SECs and just walking away with a win in both. The long-awaited start to the regular season is over. The Rams are set to take on Southington Co-op on home ice at the Lewis Astorino Arena. Game one means the exact same as game 20 in standings. That's the first opportunity that we have right here, right, to get some points, to get a win on the board. Right? We know our goal for the season. Right? Our goal is first get our eight wins, qualify for the state tournament. Game one goes a long way in doing that. Getting that first win under our belt goes a long way in doing that. Right? First game for a bunch of you, first regular season game for a bunch of you that's uniform. Right, embrace it. Have fun. Playing hockey your whole lives. Right? The game. That's it. That's all it is, is the game. Go out there and enjoy it. We've worked hard for two, two and a half weeks. These games are a reward for what you guys do in practice. Right? Games are rewards. Plenty of times are, are playing times are reward for what you've done so far. Right? Let's make sure we come out moving our feet. Right? Like I said to you guys yesterday, to every newspaper person I talked to, right now. That's all we are, is a five-win team from last year. That's it. Until we prove anything different, we're a five-win team from last year. Let's come out moving our feet. Let's come out getting on bodies, getting pucks on net, get that first goal, and run with it, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go.
Early in the first period, Southington scored the first goal of the game with a backdoor one-timer from their captain, number 27. The Rams fought hard to quickly bounce back and got close with multiple offensive attempts and shots on net. With just under four and a half minutes left in the first period, Southington grabbed their second goal of the game, this one coming from their other captain, number 86. Although down two goals in the first, Cheshire captain Rocco Cone Krause still managed to find the back of the net on a late period goal coming with just 16 seconds remaining giving the Rams something positive headed into the break. We'll be better in our deep zone. Our offense will come. Right? We're getting our chances. Right? We did not play a good period. We've got Boney coming out down 2-1. to one. Right? It's got to be better. Effort level's got to be better. The execution's got to be a hell lot better. Right? The intensity level has got to be better. Right? Come on, we got plenty of time here. Let's regroup. Hey, boys. Hey, one thing. Right? We got a laundry list of things we got to fix. Right? That's hockey. Shit. We'll talk about that. But one thing we cannot have, and I won't sit for the rest of the year, is getting out work. Right? Yeah. Five shots. Right? You play like you're scared. First period, a little jitters, we'll take it. Okay? But not again. Not again. We'll never get out work. Can't. If you get beat on the ice, you get beat on the scoreboard, it happens. I will not be happy about it, but I will never accept getting outworked and out hustled. Right? That's what happened that period. These guys don't even belong on the ice with you as far as power, but they're running all over you. Beat them to every puck, finish every check, play smart hockey. Okay? Let's go. After hearing from the coaches and each other, the team came out firing on all cylinders in the second period. After only two minutes of second period action, the Rocco Cone Kraus once again beat the Southington goalie on a backhand shot with the assist coming from Lucas Sarcolini. Both teams battled for the lead throughout the second period with Cheshire's Will Gaudet tipping in the Rams' third goal of the game with an assist coming from junior Evan Vasilias. A few shifts later, Will Gaudet took advantage of an Evan Vasilias face-off win buried the puck in a quick and extremely accurate shot on net, giving the Rams a 4-2 lead over Southington. Let's go! Southington responded with a late period goal, putting the game within one, headed into the second intermission. Hey, guys, we're not a bad team, right? We got it, we got, we're in the game here, we got the lead, tighten up defensively. When things break down on their last goal, find the guy, get under the stick and clear him out, right? Don't worry about the puck. Don't worry about puck. The puck does not score itself. Right? Under sticks in front, clear guys out in front of that. We got to tighten up in our D zone, right? Uh, not, not bad though, not bad, all right? We got, we got a nice lead here, let's run with it. Let's run with it, let's run with it. We're not sitting back and playing in defensive style. We are pressuring to play the period in their zone. You control play that period, let's control it in the third period. Much easier to win a game when you're playing in their zone. We're up by a goal, going into third. We got a good opportunity to win the hockey game, all right? Do what it takes to win now. All right, we got a few minutes here. Got a few minutes. Hey, coach said it right. One thing, what I asked for, effort, right? We responded. That effort got you guys the lead there. Three to one in that period. Y'all scored a real good job, okay? Continue to do the right stuff. Defense is open in our offensive side. Just like foot low, like you said. Maybe take the key to the key. Nothing crazy. But look for our D up top, right? Get him the puck and keep screening his goaltender. Lots of shots coming through. We got a couple of glove saves at the end. Put some bodies in front, take his eyes away. We'll get a few more, okay? Let's go. Let's finish it strong. Yeah, boys, I asked you to outwork them. You did. We outwork them this period. We're winning this hockey game, right? Let's start this thing. Boys, let's go.
Let's finish strong and win a game. Headed into the third, the Cheshire team, using the momentum from the second period, the coach's advice, and a mid-game to Bella's sub, came out determined to finish strong and start the season 1-0. Southington fought hard to tie the game, but a strong Cheshire defense backed by a 20 save performance from Ginny Carello kept the Rams on top, with a final score of 4-3. For Drew DiPodesta and Tyler Smart, games like these mean so much more playing against each other as former teammates, especially the post-game conversations and pictures. Yes, sir. Alright, that's number one out of the way. Right? That's number one out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Hoping that we're gonna have close to 30 these opportunities. Alright? 20 game regular season, two game conference tournament. Four games in the state tournament. All right, not a mathematician. It's not really 30, but it's close, right? All right. But hey, we got one out of the way. All right. The the hardest one is always the next one. All right. So did what we had to do. I thought we started the game out playing a little tight. And you showed in that first period. What I love is how we battled back. All right. We battled back. You're gonna have adversity, guys. Whether it's in a shift, in a period, in a game. It's how you react to the adversity is going to show how we're going to be as a team. Right? We got down two goals to a team that you know we say we should have walked out and beat, right? And we had to react to it, right? I thought we did a very good job, right? We took back control of the game in the second period. We did what it took in the third period. I challenge you guys after the second to do what it takes to win. We got guys blocking shots. We got guys laying out, making plays, right? Real good job. Ginny's first win. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right, hey, number one of a whole bunch, right? Good job all around. Hey, Liam wasn't even dressing as of, uh, I don't know, two hours ago. Yeah. Dressed and yeah. got rid of the ship. Yeah. Right? Hey, guys, it goes for anybody. You never know when your numbers can get called, right? Seize the opportunity, all right? Everybody's going to get an opportunity, seize it, all right? It's going to take 30 of us here to win a state title, whether it's you know, guys getting up better in practice, whether it's guys pitching in, doing things they normally wouldn't do, it's going to take all of us, right? We are a 30-man unit, 30-person unit, sorry, Jenny, 30-person <coughs> unit. It's going to take all of us, right? Good job. 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 After each job, give out the player of the game, Shane, right here. Oh. First one goes, rock it up. Yeah! yeah. Speed, speed, speed. Yeah. 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 I really don't have much to say. I mean, You're speechless. I am speechless. <laughs> I mean, as a captain this year, um, you know, I lost my voice a couple days ago. I couldn't really be the most vocal today without a burden. So I was hoping I could lead by example today. Um, and I'm glad I was able to uh, maybe start that fire. It's your mic. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad uh, that we walked away with the dub at the end of the day, and uh, I'm hoping I can see everybody with this change oh, at uh, some point this year. So, yes, sir. I really appreciate it. Coach Juice and Captain Will Goddett spoke about the first game and what they saw from the team on opening night, as well as staying locked in for upcoming games this season. You know, getting down two goals was tough, but I love the way we battled back. Absolutely love the way we battled back. Getting that goal at the end of the first period was huge for us kind of got us feeling a little more comfortable. I thought the first period we played a little bit tight and uh, once we got that goal, got into the locker room and calmed back down, 
coming out in the second period, we were a whole different team. Uh, we took we took momentum of the game. Scoring that short-handed goal was huge. And then uh, kind of we once once we got that goal, we kind of ran with it after that. Yeah, so we knew we had a lot of new guys playing, so we, we knew there was a lot of first period nerves, some guys getting their first time playing. So we just had to tell them, settle down, play your game, focus on playing your game, and we knew we'd come back. You know, the high school season's crazy. It's a quick turnaround. You know, you're playing Wednesdays and Saturdays for the most weeks. Some weeks you're playing Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So, you know, enjoy the win for tonight. Get back out, ready to work tomorrow. And not only is Saturday a game, it's our first league game of the year, too. So those games count a little more. So it's going to be enjoy the win. On Saturday, yeah, December 17th, tomorrow, Coach we refocus and Chester Rams ready to get ready for East Haven, Connecticut for their first SEC game of the season. Early in the first, junior Ryan Frazier was called for a tripping penalty. With the Rams down a man, East Haven capitalized on their power play, scoring the first goal of the game. For Cheshire captain Rocco Cohn Kraus tied the game after finding a pass from Drew Di Podesta right in front of the East Haven net. With the game tied 1-1, Cheshire continued their offensive attack. Captain Will Gaudet stole a loose East Haven pass and took it to the house. Cheshire's Evan Siliaz was called for a five minute major penalty for boarding, leaving the Rams on the penalty kill for the rest of the first period. Thanks to a strong performance from goaltender Ginny Carello in the Cheshire defense, the Rams headed into the first intermission up 2 1 over East Haven. get ready to win this game by moving our feet, all right? Get our feet going by these guys, take advantage of their defense. D zone is much better, right? We're collapsing a lot lower, we're doing a much better job helping out in front of the net. Weak side guy is doing a good job right now, we gotta keep it up. Right, we got 243 still on the kill, let's kill us off and get back into five on five. But five on five, we're a much better team than these guys, all right? But if we get breakaways and we probably will with our speed, we gotta get the drop and walk around them. He's a tall kid, the pads will get out, and you get to the side, you get it up, and you'll have an easy, easy goal. Like right, I say, good first period, we got the lead, right? Let's play smart hockey, let's get back to five on five. At the start the of the lead, second, back the lead. Let's, go. 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 Let's, go. let's go, let's go, let's go. On an East Haven attempt to dump the puck out of their D zone, Cheshire's Biagio Pepe kept the play alive and buried a shot from the blue line. His first goal for the Rams, putting them up three to one. Cheshire headed back to the penalty kill with a minor penalty call on Captain Will Gaudet. East Haven once again capitalized on the power play advantage and scored, pulling the game within one goal once again. Cheshire's Biagio Pepe was called for a minor penalty for Elbowing once again, sending Cheshire to the penalty kill. Although down a skater, Cheshire's Liam Harkins quickly turned the defensive effort into an offensive attack, scoring on a breakaway goal, putting the Rams back up by two goals. Um, don't give them anything easy, right? Which means two on ones, 
Three on two, odd man rushes. Make sure we got a high guy in the zone. High guy, I don't want you getting caught watching the puck or on your toes. I want you being the defensive side of the puck. All right, breakaways, no breakaways. Don't give them anything easy. Also, power plays, don't give them anything easy. All right? Take a bad penalty, you give a team a power play, you have to give them something easy. Make them earn every inch of ice out there. All right? It'll be a hard team to play against in the third period here. Early in the third period, East Haven was called for a trip on Cheshire's Biagio Pepe. The Rams continue their offensive attack on the power play. With just under eight minutes remaining in the game, Cheshire's Biagio Pepe and two East Haven players got into a confrontation in the East Haven D zone. The results of the confrontation were ejections of both Cheshire's Biagio Pepe as well as East Haven's Michael Salvo. Cheshire successfully killed the five minute penalty with goaltender Jenny Carello stopping multiple offensive attempts by East Haven. With a little under four minutes left, East Haven was called for two minor penalties, giving the Rams a five on three chance to seal the game. After a strong defensive game from senior Lucas Sargolini, he took a pass from Cheshire's Michael Bulger and buried the puck from the slot, putting the Rams up 5-2 with less than a minute and a half remaining. Yeah. Let's go. Although Coach Juice and the Rams came out on top, the ejection of forward Biagio Pepe was still a pressing topic in the post-game speech as the Rams will be without Biagio who has played top line minutes so far this season. Good win. All right, said it before. Nice, nice coming down to East Haven, walking out with a win. Spirited game. I love the way we reacted for the most part. All right. Uh, again, got down by a goal, battled back, and uh, played a really good, solid defensive game today. All right, minimizing team's chances. Um, guys, we got to play with composure. We have to. We have to. Come from the guy who was just barking at the scorekeeper for not on the clock, but still. We got to play with composure. All right. Let us deal with the emotional side of the game. You guys just do your job, all right? Do your job. I like being physical, I like being tough, but we gotta be smart, right? If we wanna go as far as we want, we're gonna need everybody in here to be available at all times. Can't have a guy sitting out now for at least one game, all right? If not more, depending on what comes back on the score sheet. Cannot have it, especially when we're up two goals in the third period of the game, of a league game that we want to win, right? Cannot happen. I like his intensity, I like the way he plays, but that's and I'm pissed that we don't have you next game. And you owe the team an apology for that too. Can't have it. I said it in our preseason meeting, no selfish play, none. That's selfish and I won't put up with it. Hey, first goal. <laughs> Liam, where are you? Yeah. Hey. Probably the biggest play of the game. Um, all hard work, all right? All hard work. Short hand and comes off the bench, you know, spotted in and shifts during the game, comes out, moving his feet, creates a turnover, goes in and kind of scores a goal, we think. I'm not sure, kind of scores a goal. Good job, well, well deserved. Well deserved. All right, hey, talk about our goals, all right? Eight wins, two down, all right? And I'm no fucking math major, but that's one-fourth of the way, all right? You think? One-fourth of the way, all right? SCC, goose egg in the loss column, okay? As long as you keep that there, teams are now chasing you, okay? Teams are now chasing you, as long as you got that zero in the loss column. All right, good job today. Let's get cleaned up and get the fuck out of East Haven. Yeah. All right? yeah. Yeah. It is. With absolute pleasure. So I give this chain to the player of the game, Heart Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Speech. 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 I'm speechless. Yeah. yeah. Absolute honor. Yeah. Wrap the, wrap the Rams. Uh, right. You go, Rams! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Goaltender Jenny Corello talked about her performance as well as the season so far. I mean, I think we competed really well. Defense played good. Um, good to come out, you know, first away game of the season, get the win, especially here, chippy game. I just try to, like, bear down every time I saw them coming down, uh, prepare for a good shot, uh, look for passes. Uh, yeah, um, the defense did a really good job of cutting off. Coach Hsu spoke about the significance of a conference road game and how his team performed, as well as how his defensive core and goaltender worked together to secure the win against East Haven. It's always tough coming down to East Haven to play. It really is. Uh, I thought we reacted well. You know, we uh, brought an intense, you know, vibe to the game. I thought we came out it being physical, um, you know, getting on the puck, moving our feet, and it showed throughout the game. You know, it was a physical game. Penalties you know got into it a little much on both sides and you kind of lose the flow of the game a little bit that way but anytime you play East Haven in a conference game it's kind of a rivalry for us you're going to have a little bit of intensity so I like the way we battled I like the way that we prepared for the game and uh, you know first first league win so it's a ni nice one to get uh, defensively we did a much better job and I think Ginny did a great job when we needed her to, to step up you know you get the first goal again and then she made a couple really big saves there to keep us in it so uh, that's, that's two games in a row where we gave a, a goal or two in the beginning and she made some really big saves Great. Coming into the season, we uh, you know we knew we had some seniority on defense with you know Lucas Sargalini and Chase Hackett and Gabe McGriz and Ryan Fraser Jr. We knew we had upperclassmen that were solid defensively, and now you know Liam O'Day and Michael Balcher, we knew coming in were to be good players, but they're stepping up and in, in, in playing some big minutes for us. So I really like where we are defensively. You know, if we can get six defensemen playing consistently like they are, and then uh, you know have our forwards helping out in the D zone, we'll be limiting a lot of teams' chances. With the Cheshire team starting their season 2-0, they are scheduled to travel to West Hartford, Connecticut to battle Connard without their top-line forward, Biagio Pepe. Following the Connard game, they'll play Lyman Hall at home before a five-day break for the holidays.